his vision demands a hundred thousand logs from 1800 kilometers west. Golden floor tiles from 1100 kilometers south. 18 million bricks, each weighing over 24 kilograms, and delicate gold foil from Nanjing. Delivery of these materials delayed construction. And to build the medieval world's biggest palace, Yongle demanded an even greater engineering project to supply it. Another Ming miracle, the Grand Canal. It ran over 1,700 kilometers, from commercial Hangzhou in the south, across the mighty Yangtze and Yellow Rivers, right up to Beijing. The Grand Canal dates back to the 5th century BC, but when Yongle came to power, it had fallen into disrepair. So he dispatched his official Song Li to rebuild and expand this essential highway. Now, this is the main channel of the Grand Canal. To the south is Hangzhou, to the north is Beijing. This is Nan Wang the highest point on the canal, 500 kilometers from Beijing, and 40 meters above the surrounding plain. This point here is approximately the watershed between the north and south section of the Grand Canal. So if we were to drop water here, water on this side of the line would flow north, water on this side of the line would flow south. All the water has drained away from this section. But this is what it would have looked like in Yongle's day. Here we are at uh, Lungwang Miao, which is the, the center of the Nanwang water diversion project as part of the, the Grand Canal system. The challenge Song Li faced was how to keep the barge traffic and building materials for the Forbidden City moving uphill. They've used a system of locks to come some 40 meters in elevation from the south and back down another 30 meters in elevation to the north. And for locks, you need a lot of water. A series of huge locks were built along the Grand Canal to move fleets of barges uphill over the summit at Nan Wang. Each lock raises a stretch of water nearly seven kilometers long. To create a reliable source of water, Song Li built a huge dam over 40 kilometers away, diverting the powerful One River. The river water fed into the Grand Canal at Nan Wang. Three huge lakes were dug as storage tanks. The river water poured in to raise the ships in the lock. Huge sluices then emptied the water into the lakes, ready for the next vessels. As a modern-day engineer, I think the main reason why this is so impressive is, is partly because of the size, but also because of the, the complexity, trying to manage the water over such a large area. It's some five to seven kilometers between the bottom lock and the top lock. The Ming Grand Canal was astonishing some 1,500 kilometers of canal itself, plus up to another 1,000 kilometers of adjacent canals. That's a, a huge achievement, even in modern day engineering terms. This engineering triumph was completed in 1415, allowing construction work in Beijing to speed up. A fleet of 20,000 barges carried 420 million liters of grain to feed the Beijing building site every year. 